There's what goes on behind closed doors, but I have never in 22 years of working with Johnny Depp seen anything that would indicate to me he is anything other than a beautiful human being. And um, I would also, uh, I think about culture, Johnny Depp has not been convicted of anything. Um, okay, he sadly lost a libel case against somebody who used a rather nasty and unproved uh, phrase. The idea of distancing yourself from that just seems cowardly to me, um, and I don't like it at all. Johnny Depp has lost his libel case against a British newspaper that labeled the actor a wife -beater. The judge in the case ruled that the allegation was substantially true. He was super generous and super caring and nice, and he hasn't changed a bit. Thank you, Johnny, for your friendship, for your talent, and for being such an inspiration to so many of us. It takes two to tango, and I think that they had a very vulnerable relationship. I think they're both as bad as each other. She gave him as good as she got. About it, she says, based on our understanding of the circumstances, the filmmakers and I are not only comfortable sticking with our original casting, but genuinely happy to have Johnny playing a major character in the movies. Just showing my public support for Johnny Depp. I mean, I'd love him to clean, get clean and stop with the jewelry, but he is clearly the them after hearing those tapes. Ryder saying she was, quote, shocked, confused, and upset by allegations he was abusive towards his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Adding, I do not want to call anyone a liar, but from my experience of Johnny, it is impossible to believe that such horrific acts are true. The case against JD is raging on as he tries to go and reclaim his name, if you will, by fighting against both his ex-wife Amber Heard, as well as the various newspapers that have tried to label him as a WB. Johnny Depp has lost his libel case against a British newspaper that labeled the actor a the judge in the case ruled that the allegation was substantially true. It's a long struggle to be sure, but he's had various people defending him and talking about him in certain ways that no doubt give him a boost in energy, or at the very least the knowledge that people don't believe that he is what Amber and others say he is. I'm going to break down the full list of celebs for you today, but first do me a favor, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Number 11, JK Rowling. There are two Harry Potter people on this list, but the one that we're going to talk about right now is JK Rowling, who not unlike like JD hasn't been the darling of the media world as of late because of her own actions and quotes, but I'm going to leave that alone for now. When the casting for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was going on and they wanted to cast JD as Grindelwald, many people weren't happy with that pick because it was during the early stages of the court cases where Johnny was widely believed to be an AB. However, despite this, JK Rowling saw something in JD that made her want him casted, and she defended him throughout the first two films. She didn't comment on him resigning for the third film, but she's kind of got bigger problems than JD's reputation as of right now. About it, she says, based on our understanding of the circumstances, the filmmakers and I are not only comfortable sticking with our original casting, but genuinely happy to have Johnny playing a major character in the movies. Number nine, Sia. Next up, we have an unlikely source for defense, the singer Sia. She not only voiced her opinion on the matter, but showed off a video of leaked audio of Amber Heard getting violent on JD and calling out Heard in various other ways. She did note that JD has problems with drugs jewelry, but noted that he is very much the victim here. Sia even went after Amber's old boyfriend in Elon Musk and noted that he was protecting her by helping her pay for the settlement against JD. Just showing my public support for Johnny Depp. I mean, I'd love him to clean, get clean and stop with the jewelry, but he is clearly the after hearing those tapes. So that right there is a multifaceted thing, as it wasn't just about defending JD, but going after Heard for what she did and admonishing those who were trying to protect her which is a thread that many have picked up on given the evidence that JD wasn't the AB Heard claimed him to be. Number 7, Vanessa Paradis. Vanessa Paradis is the ex-wife to JD and the woman who gave birth to his two children, so they have a long and deep relationship. She was also at the trial to defend her former flame, and her words carried a lot of weight. I've known JD, I've known Johnny for more than 25 years. We've been partners for 14 years and we raised our two children together. Through all these years, I've known Johnny to be a kind, attentive, generous, and non-violent person and father. Paradis also acknowledged her awareness of these allegations, which Amber Heard has publicly accused JD of for more than four years now, but insisted that those accusations were inconsistent with the true JD I have known. Paradis also says she never experienced DV or AP from JD. Vanessa Paradis also acknowledged that the accusations against JD have caused harm to his career, 
Now, some may say that because of their marriage that she is biased for him, but it's the other way around. She got divorced by JD because he fell in love with Amber Heard, or at least that's one take on their tale. Either way, they split and she could have used this case to get back at him, but instead, she defended him, and that says a lot. Number 6. Allison Perry. Allison is the sister to JD's ex, Vanessa, and it would have been very revealing if said sister said one thing about JD while Vanessa said another. However, not only were the sisters on the same page in defending JD, but she noted that you'll always be like family to me in an Instagram post and then started to sing his praises in terms of being funny, caring, and so on. It's rather telling that even the sister to the woman he left is defending him wholeheartedly, don't you think? Because if she felt he had ever hurt her sister, she wouldn't have hesitated to say it. Number 5. Javier Bardem Heading now to the male side of things, JD's screenmate for a couple of films, Javier Bardem, also spoke out on how JD was nothing short of a great man and a pleasure to work with. Super generous and super caring and nice, and he hasn't changed a bit. On top of that, I've had the gift of working with him twice and I've experienced his respectful attitude towards every single member of the crew alongside his unique and hilarious sense of humor. I stand by JD because I have always seen and felt a true caring and loving man, an extraordinary and unique artist who has listened to anyone who needed his help. That may sound a little one-sided in certain ways, but he didn't have to speak out on what he felt about JD, so clearly he thinks that JD is innocent, else he wouldn't have said anything at all. Number 4. Paul Bettany if you're looking for another guy that's up for defending JD, that would be Paul Bettany. The two worked together on multiple films, and, and Bettany had nothing but praise for JD on Twitter, where he noted he's known him for years and through many relationships, and noted further that he was the kindest and gentlest man he's ever known. While it's true that Hollywood types are known to defend one another, this is a different story because of the kind of case it entails. So for Bettany to stick his neck out like that proves that he is confident in what he's saying about JD. Number 3. David Yates this one is a bit more ironic given recent events. David Yates is the director of the Fantastic Beast films that JD co-starred in as Grindelwald. When he was initially cast for the parts, there was some backlash, but then Yates eventually stepped forward and said that the accusations do not match the man he's been working with on set. The irony, of course, is that JD has stepped down at Warner Bros., though Amber Heard is still employed by them, and has been recast. We're not sure how David Yates feels about that, but he defended JD before. We're not sure how David Yates feels about that, but he defended JD before, so that says a lot. Number 2. Lily Rose Depp If that name feels familiar, that would be because Lily is Johnny's daughter. If that name feels familiar, that would be because Lily is JD's daughter, and she's come out multiple times in support of her father, including posting an article about how Amber called the police on JD, stating that he abused her, but there was literally no evidence of that happening at all. She later on posted pictures of the father and daughter together, stating that she loves her father and that there is no way he is the way he's projected. Number 1. Laura Divineer Laura Divineer is an interior decorator to the stars and former friend of Amber Heard. We say former because when the court case between the two came around, it was Divineer who took the stand and denied the injuries and bruises that Amber Heard claimed she had after a fight she cited happened. She apparently was there with Amber after alleged fight, but didn't see any bruises at all. Her tried to refute this, but JD's defense team proved that her testimony was legitimate. And there you go, a look at the JD case and how there's been a litany of people coming forward to defend JD in one form or another. Can you believe that so many people, including many of JD's exes, have stepped up to defend him? Do you think that with the support like this, they'll be able to get him off the charges and clear his name? Or is he in for a very long court battle? Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.